Heck no. I know it would it with uh, how it is with you. Too. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is episode two of Butterfly Soup. And as you probably remember, we were at a baseball game with our friend Min and her twin brother. So let's eat some popcorn. Let's start out the episode by eating some popcorn. 10 out of 10 would eat again. Depends on how much butter's on it, but yeah. Oh, never mind. Min, yeah. Oh, never, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I was tricked. Oh yeah, because last episode, she thought there was a dog, but it was just a baby. I thought I hit the ball. It pops up. Wow. It's coming toward us. Dia catches the ball in the popcorn bucket. Whoa. I got so lucky. Yeah. Wow, Dia. That was so cool. You're so cool. Dia fishes the ball out of the half-empty tub. I better give this to Jen or Min. My parents think I went to study at Noelle's house. It'd be too sp suspicious to bring a baseball back. Min sits back down. Apparently, she had gotten up at some point to jump around and scream. She still looks really odd. Thanks. Hmm? For what? Existing. Oh. I think we should give the ball to Min. Min? Yeah? Give her the baseball. Dia holds the baseball out to Min. Can I really have it? I'll treasure it forever. If anyone tu else touches it, I'll kill them. That's way too extreme. It's a big deal though. Now we'll always have something to remember you by. Huh? What do you mean remember me by? That makes it sound like I'm going to die or something. Jun Seal looks alarmed by Dia's response. Did... Did Min not tell you? Oh no, what's going on? Tell me what? Where? Shut the heck your mouth! What? What the heck? It's nothing! Shut up! Min gets up and runs for it. Min! I've got to go after her. I can hear her footsteps. Dia chases Min up the steps and down the concourse they arrive through. Min! Dia grabs the back of Min's hoodie. Min loses her balance and face plants onto the carpet. Are you okay? We're moving away. Where? To Florida. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? So sudden. It wasn't sudden. I've known for a long time. I've tried everything to stop it. I even threatened dad with a knife. That is not a good idea. <laughs> I can't believe it failed. Violence is always the answer. Florida, that's all the way across the country. There's nothing there except old people. No, alligators live there too. I saw an animal planet. So this is it? This is it. Sorry. But that's not fair. We can't even send letters because my parents hate you so much. I won't see you for the rest of my life. Hey, just because I'm moving away doesn't mean we'll never meet again. If I want to see you and you want to see me, eventually it'll end up happening again, right? How do you know? I just know. That's not a reason. Then, because. Suddenly, Min seizes Dia's arm. She looks like she's had an epiphany. Oh geez, what's her plan? If you say our names together, it sounds like diamond. What? Like diamond, 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 see? It's even more like it if you say your name wrong. Like Dia instead of Dia. Oh, yeah, I, I already did that. I'm not saying my name wrong just to make it sound like diamond, but it's more evil like that. My name got cut in half to make it work, so I had to sacrifice something too. I already call you Min. No one says Dia. The substitute teacher does. The substitute teacher sucks. How did you even think of this? I was checking if our name sounded so like anything good together, like baseball. How could it possibly sound like baseball? Our parents would have had to name us base and ball. 
I know, I know. But still, it's pretty cool that we match it all, right? And it's even baseball related. The universe is saying we're meant to be together. Oh, jeez. Whoa, I guess she's right. Meet again, no matter what. I'll bet you a hundred dollars. Wait, but how are you going to give me the hundred if you lose? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Trying to explain something to Min. Huh? I just will. No, but if you're able to meet me, that's what means you've won the bet. What? Technically, I guess. There's nothing technical about it. You just straight up wouldn't pay me. There's a long silence. She still doesn't get it. <laughs> Never mind, it's okay. Yeah, whatever, you know what I mean. The point is, this isn't the end. I won't give up if you don't give up, okay? Okay, I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. Okay. Oh, five years later. We're in ninth grade now. We're old. We're not old, we're older. It's time to get up for school. Wake up. Dia hits her alarms and flops face first into the bed. I mean, okay, that works too. <laughs> Dia's morning or two routine includes laying in bed for 10 minutes, thinking about how tired she is. Oh. I guess we have to do it. <laughs> I only got two hours of sleep. No, I don't want to get up. <laughs> this is, I feel like, everyone when they wake up. Unless you're a morning person, then I don't want to talk to you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ten minutes pass like this. Once the allotted time is up, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. After stretching for a few moments, she gets she starts getting ready for school. Huh? Look, we're older now. My classmate Akarsha messaged me. Check your computer. A. A dia. A. A. <laughs> Smiley face. What? Oh, it's a cute dog. Dia, you like Pringles, right? <gasps> Uh, yeah, I like Pringles. Yeah, why? Go outside. Oh. Dia goes outside. There's a lone Pringle sitting on the ground. Oh, great. It's not even edible anymore. Thanks. So all I get? Hey. Sup, homie? This is Akarsha. She's the kind of person who doesn't give pencils back. Oh, we all know someone like that in our life. I like her jacket. You know when you become friends with someone just because you have to see them so much? Yeah, that's us. My parents are always saying I should be more outgoing like her. Like that's something I can just change. Hey Dia, you know what's the best? <laughs> it's when I'm with you. Dia briskly begins walking away without her. Hey, you're no fun. Have it your way, Burger King. Akarsha is half jogging to keep up with Dia. Hey Dia, did you know that your eyes has something called immune privilege. This basically means that the outside of your eye prevents your immune, immune system from knowing about the inside of your eye. If it didn't, your immune system would destroy your eyes. That doesn't sound right. I don't believe you. Why not? Because you lie to me all the time. Noel said not to trust you no matter what. Wait, what, when? When we first met you this year, after you accused her of being a robot with artificially implanted human emotions. Dia's like, uh, girl. What do you mean, what? <laughs> hey, when she got a, she got annoyed when I pressed a magnet to her head. That means she's a replicant and it was messing with her circuits. Checkmate. No, she was annoyed because you pressed a magnet to her head. Aw, oh, come on, I was just trying to make a good first impression. What's a girl to do? Is that your first instinct for a good impression? <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Poor me. No one feels sorry for you. There's a bunch of adults dressed in yellow at the intersection waving signs. What is that? They're trying to take away gay marriage. Gay marriage is allowed? Dude, it's been legal for a few near years now. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Protect marriage, yes on Prop 8. Marriage equals one man and one woman. A smiling woman with a baby strapped to her back brandishes her sign as Dia and Akarsha walk past. 
It says, I heart my gay brother. Still yes on eight. Oh. Oh, that's... Okay. I know. Eh. What kind of cognitive dissonance? I can read, guys. I promise. I promise I can read. Oh, I like her backpack. Hey, Dia, would you eat a tiny two-inch person alive for a million dollars? I mean, it's it's a million dollars. <laughs> would I be a cannibal for a million dollars? Um, I maybe I would, but I don't know about Dia. I don't think Dia would do that. No. He'd probably taste horrible. People have so many bones, it'd be like eating a fish. That's the only reason you want to do it? Are you saying you'd eat him if he was like a Cheeto? What do you mean? Like a talking Cheeto with human intelligence? No, like he's still a human dude, but somehow he has the taste and texture of a Cheeto. What the heck? This is getting pretty abstract. This is what happens when you wake up too early. I'd eat him. Dia nods. Dang, you know, you want to feel bad at all? You realize he dies, but he tastes like Cheetos. <laughs> so he's a real dude, man. Why would you make him taste like a Cheeto if you're not supposed to eat him? That's very true. Dia has a good point. If something tastes like a Cheeto, I mean, I'll probably eat it. Dude, imagine. What if you were the tiny guy? If you were him, I'd go into a total panic. I would scream and squirm. I wouldn't want to get eaten. Why are you even talking about this? Oh, the school's like outside. I mean, that sounds pretty cool, actually. I should go to my locker first before going to class. Suddenly, Akarsha takes off running. <gasps> Where are you going? Huh? It's pee pee time. Can you not say things like that? Akarsha left. She never takes a day off from being weird. Let's go to our locker. Dia opens her locker. This is technically both me and Noelle's locker. The school doesn't have enough lockers for everyone, so freshmen share. And they're tiny. I'm always surprised when high schoolers in movies have lockers big enough to fit people inside. That's so true. Lockers are always so small. Let's look at this. Uh, this is Rosen. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't play instruments. For string instruments. The first time Noelle showed it to me, I tried to eat it. It does look good. Dia opens the lunchbox and peers inside. There's a steel thermos and a plastic baggie of grapes. Grapes! Dia shoves half the grapes into her mouth before putting the lunchbox back. Stealing friend's food. Dia hefts her books and binders into her backpack. All right, I can go to class now. All right, let's close the door, go to class. Dia, help me. It's Noelle. What is it? I can't open the, this water bottle. Noelle's basically has noodle for noodles for arms. Some of us aren't, don't have a six pack, okay, Dia? Hmm? Dia takes the bottle out of Noelle's hands and twists the plastic sealed cap open. Thank you. How are you so weak? It's scary. It's the manufacturer's fault for making these seals so strong. What if you get lost in the desert and find a bottle of water? You'll die because you can't open it. No, I won't, you can open it for me. That's assuming, I, assuming I'm there in the desert with you. I should start changing, charging you a service fee. 25 cents. You, sh you wouldn't do that. I'd make a dollar and 25 cents per week. You can buy a cup of noodles from the student store. <laughs> Gotta love ramen. No, I'll sneeze violently. Don't get too close to me. I probably have the flu. Why are you here then? Why are you at school? Did you catch what I had last week? Probably. Sorry. This happens a lot because we spend so much time together. And I eat her food. It doesn't help that our immune systems are perpetually weakened from sleep deprivation either. At least you don't have to worry about me being contagious. Are you okay though? Shouldn't you go home? And what? Miss school? Yes! You, you might have the flu! I guess that's out of the question. Even when that Noelle had the stomach flu in middle school. Her parents made her come just for her math and science classes. I guess language arts just doesn't matter then, hmm? And she, she was like barely conscious. I had to carry her around because she couldn't get up from her desk. I think she ended up infecting half the school. Where's Akarsha? She, it's pee pee time. I am not saying that. Okay, never mind. Why do you ask? I secretly sewed a library book security tag 
into the inside of Karsh's backpack. So from now on, every time she leaves the library, she'll set off the alarm and have her backpack s searched. That's, wow. Wow, why are you bullying people, huh? Hmm? Well, whatever, we have plenty of chances to see. Let's go. D is so tall compared to Noel. A huge mob of kids is packed outside the classroom. They're all looking at a grid of test scores posted on the wall. It's complete chaos. People are pushing and angling their way to the list with the fervor of believers trying to touch Justin's hand. If I get a B, my parents are throwing away my GameCube. <gasps> Not the GameCube. Yikes, that's gotta be an empty threat, right? I wish. They already threw away my cell phone. Jeez, these parents. I'm scared to see what I got on this. Think I failed. Asian failed or actually failed? Asian failed, come on, I'm not that dumb. Asian failing is like a B, right? Yeah, right, too scary. Oh, This is a list of the top 10 scores across all periods. Noelle aced it, classic. She used to call me on the phone crying every Christmas because her parents got her MathWorks books instead of what she really wanted. That's so sad. Now she's unbeatable. It's like her tragic superhero origin story. Except instead of a superhero, she's every Asian parent's dream child. Must be very smart, getting all those books. No clue how Akarsha managed to get the second highest score though. General consensus is that she's cheating, but the teachers have never been able to catch her doing anything. Wow, no one just doesn't have any faith in her? So I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. Dia, I've located your ID number here. You got 91.22%. Phew, almost failed. Actually, you could have missed one more and scraped an A minus. Considering how many I guessed on, that's still cutting it pretty close. That's scary. I really studied as hard as I could, but even my best wasn't good enough. I think we've all been there. I wonder if I can really get into Stanford and Berkeley like this. We well, don't have to go to Stanford, but um, good dreams, girl. As Dia and Noelle enter the classroom, something burst out of the cabinet. Oh, jeez. Oh! Ugh! Noelle staggers backwards onto the X marked on the floor with duct tape. A garbage can drops from the ceiling. No! Ha ha ha! Noelle and Akarsha go through some variation of this every single day. It's their roundabout way of being friends. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite Frenchman, Noelle. Please stop calling me that. Why are you speaking English, Noelle? What kind of Frenchman are you? Just because my name is French doesn't mean I'm French. Ha ha ha. Baguette. <laughs> when the only French thing you know is baguette. <laughs> See, this is the problem. Whenever Noelle hears something stupid, she can't just let it slide. She always has to correct it. So Akarsha just keeps acting dumber and dumber on purpose into affinity. Noelle does an impression worm-like dance to wiggle out of the garbage bin. I can't believe you've done this. I can't believe you've done this. How dare you? What happened to our truce? Truce? From yesterday, you agreed to this. Noelle pulls a sheet of binder paper from her back. I almost said backpack, book bag. Who says book bag? And brandishes it in front of Akarsha's face. Look, this is your own signature at the bottom. Suddenly, I can't read. Akarsha! Noelle's scream sounds very weird and hoarse from her cold. What's wrong with your voice today? That was a weaker yell than normal. I'm ill, I'm losing my voice. How about I punch you in the throat? It'll displace the mucus. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> no, it won't. How do you know? Anything is possible. Anything's possible if you believe. Trust me. I'm here. <laughs> God, I don't know this song. And I don't know how to read that. You are the absolute last person I would trust. You worthless scammer. Leave all your problems to me. I'll solve them in a heartbeat. That is unrealistic and accelerating that fast would destroy you even past your bone structure. Why are you being so mean? I'm just trying to help you. Hitting me isn't helping me. Wow, someone has anger management problems. You gotta slow down and smell the flowers. Appreciate life's miracles. Like me. 
I'm life's greatest miracle. We all know you are, Akarsha. Absolutely disgusting. I feel nauseated just looking at you. I just don't understand. Why is there so much hate in the world? If only we could open our hearts to love, there would be no wars. Peace begins with a smile. Mother Teresa. Noelle is struggling not to break character by laughing. The bell rings. This concludes Noelle and Akarsha's daily morning scream fest. Well, that was quite interesting. The rest of the morning is relatively uneventful. Guess what? Ooh, lunch. This is my favorite part of the day. What? No, no, you gotta guess. You are arrested. What? No. You have a year left to live. What the? Dude, why you always gotta jump to the worst possible conclusion? It guarantees that I'm either right or pleasantly surprised. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Whatever, I'll just tell you. Did you guys hear about the new girl who transferred here? Hmm, who is this new girl? Will she sit with us at lunch? Apparently she's like a delinquent. I heard she knifed someone. She must not be very intelligent. Isn't that exciting? We never get that type around here. That's true, everyone here is kind of forced to become a nerd by default. I wouldn't say nerds, but you know, if you're a nerd, you're the best type of person. I can't wait to meet her. What for, do you wanna get stabbed too? Sure, why not? Saves me the trouble of doing it myself. Jeez, oh my goodness. Noelle rolls her eyes and goes back to organizing her fried rice. She's picking all the sausage bits out so Dia can eat her leftovers. Don't do that, I like being alive the same time as you. That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. That was pretty sweet. Really? Then I take it back. Wow. Noelle slides her thermos across the table at Dia. Fried rice. Hey Dia, how many second graders do you think you could beat up if they came at you in waves of 10, with a fifth grader boss coming every five waves? Uh, I mean, we're pretty strong. We're in ninth grade, right? Yeah, second graders are pretty small. They're like eight, at least a few do- Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Maybe like 15. What, you're underestimating yourself, man. I'm not invincible. This isn't a kung fu movie. But they're little. It's so easy to mess them up. You could just tell them they laugh weird and they'll be all self-conscious about it for the rest of their lives. See, this is why we be nice to children. Noel looks a bit left out of this conversation. Why just Dia? How come you're not asking me? Because I already know the answer for you. Zero. It's true, you're a weakling. How rude. Noelle, let's arm wrestle. I wanna show Akarsha. She hasn't seen this. I don't want to. I always lose. I'll let you use both hands this time. Noelle makes a face. Reluctantly, she clasps both her hands on Dia's, so it's sandwiched between hers. Oh geez. <laughs> Three, two, one. Noelle strains against Dia's grip with all her might. No. Uh. Dia's arm still hasn't budged an inch. With her free hand, Dia casually continues to eat fried rice. You stop that. Akarsha, what do you think of the weather today? Stop toying with me. If I did that, I'd break your wrist. You know what I mean. Dia pins Noelle's arm to the table gently as possible. Dang, this is like some fox and the hound stuff. Normally, the scrawny nerds herd together so jocks like Dia don't stuff them into trash cans. How did you two even end up friends? Don't remember. You don't remember? You were always just there by default. That is not what happened. You had one bad ear, so you had a lot of trouble making sense of what anyone was saying. You just play wall ball against yourself or run laps on the track. That sounds about right. One day, someone brought in Krispy Kreme donuts for their birthday. I didn't like donuts, so I... You don't like donuts? I don't like donuts, they're disgusting. Disagree, her taste buds are broken. Anyway, I gave a minute to you, and in an exchange, I received your undying and completely unwanted loyalty. Oh, I she gave her donut to Dia. And to Dia, that was all she needed <laughs> to follow her around everywhere. <laughs>
You're a major inconvenience. I don't remember any of this. How do you not remember? You are so extreme. Whenever the teachers tried to separate us, you'd start crying. I seriously don't remember any of this. It's probably because your birthday's in November. You're almost a feel full year younger than me. A year is a big gap when you're five. True, I was probably like a toddler. Sorry, I forgive you. That's hella kawaii. Never use that phrase ever again. What phrase? You know what phrase. What's wrong with kawaii? Oh, hello. Excuse me. She's talking to me. No, go away. Dia looks wildly around for Noelle and Akarsha to help her. But they've both already gone ahead into the classroom. Oh no. I remember you. You were... What is she saying? I've never met her in my life. New clubs are... Interests... Crap. I can't make out the words. I'll just nod at the at appropriate times. We're collecting signatures to approved. The stranger hands Dia a clipboard with the signature sheet on it. Uh, what is this? We weren't listening. How are we supposed to sign something we weren't listening to? Bye. Dia walks away in the middle of the conversation. She quickly enters the classroom before the girl can stop her. Inside, Akarsha and Noel are playing cards. Is there just never any teachers around? Like, this classroom's always empty. <laughs> Time to re reveal your hand in three, two, one. Noel and Akarsha flip their cards over. Why is there a Yu-Gi-Oh card? <laughs> Akarsha taps it with her index finger. This is Exodia, the forbidden one. I'm sorry if I mispronounce that. I have um, never played Yu-Gi-Oh, and I know nothing about it. So, fun fact. <laughs> Think outside the box, Taco Bell. You can't do this. Akarsha reaches across the desk and takes one of Noelle's cards. What are you doing? You said you were going to play this normally. There's no rule in Yu-Gi-Oh saying you can't eat the enemy's cards. We're playing poker. There's no rule in poker saying you can't eat the enemy's cards. <laughs> Akarsha doesn't even know it game she's playing. Class starts. This scene concludes Noelle and Akarsha's daily afternoon struggle. So they have a morning struggle, an afternoon struggle. Do they have an end of the day struggle? <laughs> Alright, just one more period before the day's over. Looking flush, Noelle swipes sweat off her brow. Bro? I I have no idea, but that's how I didn't read it. <laughs> Why is it so hot? Because I'm he- You shut up. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> My heart is exploding, my lungs are without air, my blood is boiling, my body is shaking, and tears are running down my face. Noelle is steadily grasping the side of a bench for support. What are you doing? I feel extremely dizzy all of a sudden. As a precaution, I will remain stationary until the symptom- Dia grabs her as she collapses. This is not good. Well, I think that was quite obvious, but this is not good. Her entire body is burning up. She must have a fever. We'll take you to the nurse's office, dude. No, don't you dare. I need to go to next period. Attendance is 20% of my grade in gym class. Missing one day can't hurt. Gym is like a freebie anyway. No, you don't understand. It's my worst subject. I can't afford to lose any more points when my mile time is 18 minutes every week. So slow, what the? You don't make that face at me. I'm not you, D. Noelle launches into a sneezing fit. Jim's not even math or science. Is it that big of a deal? It'll su still ruin her GPA and valid Victorian status. Her parents will yell at her and be really mean. What do we do? If she gets a B because we took her to the nurse's office, it'll destroy her. But she's in no condition to be working out either. She can't even stand without me holding her up. Let's use our heads. Ah, yes, finally, Akarsha. Using your brain. <laughs> There's gotta be a way out of this. Like what? Like, if a meteor hits Earth right now, no one will mind if Noelle skips gym class. Brilliant. If the world ends, we're saved. Even canceling school would be easier. Hold that thought. If school is canceled, if school is canceled right now, snow day, but there's no snow, then how? As long as we make it so there, that no one goes to class, we win. Akarsha is clearly going down some weird line of reasoning. Dude, I've got this. Dia, you can stay with Noel while I uh, do some stuff. What stuff? Uh, you're not going to like it. Before I tell you, you've got to promise me not to get mad. 
What? Well, promise? Fine, I guess. Okay. Tio, what if it's something insane? Then I'll just be annoyed internally. I knew I could count on you. A true homie. What about you, Frenchman? I can't promise not to get mad. Just tell us already. Nope, I'm not telling you then. What about me? I agreed. Heck no. I know it would... It with uh, how it is with you two. If I tell you, you'll tell Noel as soon as I'm gone. Dang, it's true. Adios, amigos. Wait, where are you going? Shrek Swamp. Akarsha left. Okay, everybody. Um, so that's where we're leaving off for today. So next episode, we will be seeing what Akarsha is going to do. I'm a little nervous. I won't lie. Um, but if you want to play this game, there is a link in the description for the download. Um, make sure you click like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you're enjoying the series. I'll see you next time. Bye!